Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the morning of Thursday, August 31st, 2022. And wanted to give you and the other humans of this planet a last comment on the Sci-Fi Channel's program with Mr. Bill Nye the End is Nigh. In part six of its program, the last one, all the programs scared you to death and tried to get you to understand. And he put it very famous on this last part six, which was about the Ring of Fire. For those of you who don't know what the Ring of Fire is, it's the whole coast of the Pacific Ocean from Alaska down to Chile on the Western Hemisphere to Russia, China, all the way down on the Asian continent. And the islands of Indonesia. These are the most active parts in this planet Earth. And like he says, Earth is a dangerous planet, which it is. And of all the different disasters, this one is the one that you can do more about than the other ones. But uh, what's the problem? Well, you are the problem. And he's trying to tell you that. And no, Mr. Nye... In your last comment, when you closed the show last night, you said, our answer is science. No, it's not. Science is helpful, and technology is helpful, but it's not the answer. The answer is you. You rely on science, and you shouldn't rely on science the way you do, because it's helpful, yes, and my race has learned this the hard way. Science is useful when it's working side by side with you. You don't put it above you and you don't put it below you. It's your partner. Like your wife is your partner. And that's something you humans haven't learned about husband and wife and what it is. Same thing with science and humanity. For one thing, you got to realize what the hell is being a human. And Mr. Nye, you hit it on the head. Especially when you put down in your simulation that somebody was hacking your early warning systems. And you said, and I quote, that due to uh, politics, religion, and arrogance, you killed yourselves. And that's what happened. Politics, religion, and I'll add some more things, Mr. Nye. Territory. You own nothing here. This planet is not yours. It's a home for you. Is it your true home? Maybe, maybe not. Somebody may have thrown you here because they didn't like you where they were. I would have thrown you here. <laughs> because this is where you deserve to be, a very violent planet, because you guys are violent. And this could have been a, key, a, a penal colony that they just, everybody else in a certain part of the universe or like a federation like us, would use it as a penal colony and just throw you guys out there. Like the British used North America and Australia. A penal colony. Where all the separatists and everybody they hated over there in London, they threw over here. William Penn, William Rogers, The Puritans, 
you name it, you got it. The Southerners, the Southerners were originally British, and they had their particular attitude that you see in certain parts of England and Scotland. They're not unique to the United States. And why are they here? That's one reason you have to understand. You need an early warning system because the Ring of Fire not only contains earthquakes, tsunamis, and it also contains volcano. The best example of that will be Sumatra, 2004, Mount St. Helens, 1980. Oh yeah, and you forgot. In the vicinity of Mount St. Helens, you also have Mount Hood and Mount Rainier. Yoo-hoo! Imagine if those blow up. Oh yeah, and don't forget uh, your favorite guy from the other episode. Yellowstone! Yee-hee! So see, Americans, you can blow yourselves up without even trying. And to give you an example of why your, your planet was disaster, it wasn't blown up by the Mushka the way you would do it, like the Americans throwing nuclear weapons at the Japanese or blowing up Bikini Island for what you call it, research purposes, uh, yeah, or blowing up your own territory when you test, tested it in Las Vegas and over in New Mexico, or the Russians and Chinese blowing them up under their own territory. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, see what I mean? The Mushka will come, and Mr. Nye, here is the extinction of the human race. The Americans won't exist because you guys are destroying yourselves. But in about 42 years, in 2065, a race of beings who used to be earthlings themselves, but they were reptilian in nature. They left because the earth was violent, as you say. Because of the ring of fire, they left over 70 million years ago, okay? But they hate this planet because it made them vagabonds. And when they found out that it still exists, they wanted to wipe it off the face of the earth because they hate it so much. Like I keep on telling you humans, they're like Nazis on steroids. And they hate humanoids. Heck, we've lost a lot of people to them, and they've lost a lot of people to us. And three nasty wars that we had with them. And the wars were not like the Ukrainian-Russian war or the American-German wars that were fought over uh, ideology. These were fought because we want you extinct, and we want to survive. Well, in 2065, they decided, hell, we can destroy these guys with no problem. We don't have to destroy them with our weapons. All we have to do is destroy them with their own planet. So they did. They fired their face weapons at Mount Hood, Mount Rainier, Krakatau, over in uh, Indonesia, and... Your favorite, Yellowstone. And that did it for your planet. You showed them how to do it, Mr. Nye, when you did this program tonight. They used your blueprint to destroy your planet. <laughs> That's what I find funny. Anyway, this is your favorite alien saying to you humans and Americans, your arrogance, your stupidity, you're not being a human race killed you. Not Earth. And you killed Earth because, hey, you couldn't understand it. So therefore, you deserve to be extinct. Good day.